Yep, another hot day. Still no rain. Take a moment and just talk to you a little bit and then we'll go on to the rest of our days. I wanna thank you so much for stopping in. Woo, I gotta get this wash off the line real quick. Fridays are so busy for me. I try to get so many things accomplished on a Friday, get everything from the week done, and then that way, Saturday and Sunday, I've been taking a little bit of an easier break. I will admit to you, this heat has really taken its toll on me. We are at, at the taping of this video, we are at seven weeks of no rain. We might have had a little shower, but I'm talking no rain that's substantial. We have never had it this dry. We have never had it this hot. In fact, July has been the hottest day and night. The nighttime temperatures are in the 80s and 90s. The daytime temperatures are over 100. And it is getting really hard for me to continue to do my work outside. The grass is slowly starting to die. And to be honest with you, my garden isn't looking so great. I do have a lot of potatoes, but I can't water my whole garden. Pennsylvania usually has ample rainfall, but I'm feeling like I live in California these days. The rain in the rain barrel is just about empty. The one is empty and the other one is close to being so. But we go on every day. We can't control the weather, or can we? That's the question. It just seems like there's so many strange things happening you often wonder, is it man-made? All kinds of different viewers on my channel. Some viewers like to watch a video topic, and then that's it. They like quick videos, videos that they show you what they're doing, show you topics. Then there's some people who love talking. They like to get to know the person. They love the interaction. And so sometimes at the end of my videos, if it's a shorter topic video, I will have talking a little bit and just everyday life and the, that's for the people that enjoy that part. My garden is slowly drying up. We just haven't had any rain but my potatoes look really well and I will be harvesting them and I think the tomatoes are going to do pretty good so I will be harvesting those too and of course I'll take you along with all of that. I'm waiting for the potatoes until it's a little cooler. It's just I've actually not been outside a whole lot. It's just been so hot and I really mind it, especially with my age, I think it's, I don't know, I just really mind the heat. In the morning I can get up and work, but it's been so hot even overnight. It's been in the 90s overnight. It's been so record hot around here. But I am trying to get some things done. Inside, I'm getting a lot done. I'm decluttering, I'm organizing and I'm cleaning up and I'm watching my water run down the drain. <laughs> it took me, ah, uh, let's see now, how many weeks to get over all that, but when you're used to doing something for 14 years and then all of a sudden it changes, it's like, it takes you a little while to get used to it. When you stay at home, you get a lot of work done. In the past weeks, you've seen us go away to Lowe's a lot of times. And it's so interesting to hear about other people's finances and how do they incorporate their finances into their everyday life. For us, it's always a, what, how do you call it? We always really scrimp and save and then we get money you know, together and then we go on these big sprees to get things done. You've been seeing that on my channel now for seven years. You know, all of a sudden we are going and we're buying things because we are out of debt, but we pay cash for our items so we don't get into debt. But what we do is when we earn income, we save the extra income and then all of a sudden we do a bunch of stuff. Well, the stuff is done now and now we need to save again. And so I'm not going away near as much and you're not gonna see a lot of high price ticket items on my channel. Now, of course, we are gonna get the wood stove, but other than that, you're gonna see really down to earth stuff. And I'm really happy that everything has been fixed. It really did weigh on my mind a lot in the last seven years of being on YouTube. When you're on YouTube and you show the world your life, you know, not everybody is watching to enjoy it. There are people that actually watch your video to try to cause problems. And it always weighed upon me that there were things that really should be fixed. Well, they're fixed now. 
And so now we're back into the everyday grind of the everyday life of the everyday homemaker of the everyday me. And so you'll see a lot of prepping videos and a lot of just stay at home and working through, you know, a tight budget. So that is how it is. So now I'm back to being at home and living a really tight budget. And I know a lot of you are the same way. And so we'll just save up now for the wood stove. We have to save up for that. And then we will save up to try to get the deck done. That is something that we wanna do, but we will see if we have the funds to do that this year. If not, it will be done next year. So Rome was not built in one day and Homestead Tessie's little house and her little area and her little homestead and her little mobile home house is not gonna be built in one day. <laughs> it's the journey, right? Once a day, I still save my dish soap because it seems such a waste to throw all of that down the sink into the septic when our plants are so dry. You know, old habits are hard to get rid of. And so I do reuse some of my water just to help make things a little better on the homestead. All of that water going down the sink when we have such dry weather. So I like to reuse it, some of it, not all. Getting used to a totally different lifestyle of having plumbing that works is something that I still am getting used to. I still open my cupboard door when the water goes down and look to see where the buckets are. I probably would do that for the next year. It's something so unusual for me because all of my water went into a bucket and then I had to take it out by hand. And every once in a while, I see the water go down the drain and I'm like, oh no, oh no, it's running under the sink. And then I realize that everything is fixed. It makes all of my washing and all of my dishes so much easier with all of this high pressured water. I can't imagine all that I missed all these years. Washing dishes is so quick now compared to what it used to be. The air conditioner on it's still 80 degrees in here it just can't keep up with the sun the heat and humidity what we do is we have our air conditioner on during the day then we turn it off at five o'clock and then we turn the air conditioner on in our bedroom so we don't have both air conditioners on at the same time by the time that the air conditioner is running to five o'clock it is so hot in here but it takes the humidity out and that makes a big difference so what I'm doing now is I'm just going ahead and putting some yeast that I got into here and then I keep this in the refrigerator. That's perfect. That fits perfect in here. My other yeast that I used, well, it was dead. It was so old. It was at least four years old. So I got some fresh yeast. After making some, after making some bread and it wouldn't rise, I realized the yeast was too old. Then our son gave me some sugar. And this is the organic cane sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my little gallon jug here. Actually, it's probably more than a gallon. This is cane sugar. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Missy will eat this. Yep, yeah, so I'm gonna put it in there. And that was what I got for food storage this week. So now I have the sugar, I have the yeast, and I have some of this bulk sugar. Now let's see if I can find a scoop to put in here. see it that fits. Perfect. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching Friday's video. It's just a laid back video where I'm sharing a little bit more of my life. The end here is a product review. I hope you enjoy it. Well, hi everybody, I'm Homestead Tessie. Today we are having a product review and I am so hungry, so we're gonna cook in it. And this is an air fryer. So let's take a look at it. It's called the Two Zone Air Fryer Oven. Now I may receive some compensation for this video. Get right out of the box. And we're gonna cook something with it today. It's a really nice unit because it's not really that heavy. That is super duper cool. So what this is, is an oven on the bottom. Oh my word, I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it. So there is the oven part. And here's the air fryer part. Take a look at this, everyone. Isn't that super duper neat? All right, now they have them both on. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to it, but it is works really well. You have to push the button in to set the other one. So they're both set, and I'll show you what they look like when we're done. All right, let's try the air fryer part. They are fried to perfection. As you see, there's a light that comes on. The oven part. So this was my first time using this, and I say everything got out perfect. Not that this really matters to anyone. I did have a couple people ask in the last couple weeks about my product reviews. And I'm an open book, so I'll be more than happy to share. The question was, I receive a lot of product reviews, what do I do with them? I donate all of my product reviews that I don't use. I have never earned one penny from any product reviews by selling them. That's just not the kind of person I am. I have a neighbor girl, she's young, and she has a daughter, but she is disabled and she cannot work. So I will give her products and then she can sell them or do what she wishes with them. I also take my product reviews to Ifton Thrift Store, and the thrift store is MCC, and they will resell them, and it gives them some profit. I keep some of mine, but I don't keep a whole lot of them. So there you go, everyone. That is the answer to the product reviews. No, I don't earn one cent from them. I feel like if I would sell them myself, that would be a very big conflict of interest. And it's just something I would never even do.